Hello guys, welcome to Mobile. Today we're going to talk about the Battle Pass. And it's not going to be a pleasant conversation. Before we we get to my main point, I just want to give, uh, give you a few tips and tricks about the Battle Pass. And then in the end, I'm going to give you the real tip, like the, the strongest tip. Let's start with uh, just going to the Battle Pass and looking at a few tasks. So first of all, <laughs> I cannot get to trial three. Like I, when I try to scroll, it just doesn't let me scroll. I need to like land right here in between, like very, very accurate. Like I, I have to like keep trying to scroll it just so I can get to trial three. And it's freaking barely like I. Okay, here we go. It it takes like f fifteen seconds to get there. Stupidest, stupidest bug. I can't. <laughs> Okay, that's not important. Let's take a look at these tasks. So, first of all, for some reason, they don't even show me the premium tasks in this one. I guess I guess we don't get the premium tasks. I'll have to... Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess for the last week, you cannot buy premium anymore. So that's why they don't even bother to show you premium tasks. I'm going to check them on my iOS account. It's not a problem. Let's take a look at the free ones. Okay, the ones that I completed or almost completed are fine. There is a few here that are absolutely disgusting. Knock out 10 Kano opponents with Sonya Blade. Okay, Sonya Blade is my top character, and there's only 10 of them, so I will probably complete this. But, like, we have a we have a task like this in every single week trials, and it's the stupidest possible task that you can come up with. Let me explain. So in, in, in trial two, I'm afraid to click, because otherwise I won't be able to come back. We have knock out 20 Jax Briggs with Reptile. This one is absolutely disgusting because I've looked through through the battle mode and I could not find a battle mode battle where Jax Briggs would be the first enemy like I could do with Scorpion. It just, I couldn't find it. I don't know, maybe I've missed it. Kitty, get out or I'm going to smack you in the face. I'm doing, I'm doing something. I just cannot find this battle and... Like, this combination of characters is just... It's just nearly impossible to find. It's it's so stupid. This task is so stupid. There's no way to naturally complete this task. Okay, this is 20. In the first week, we have 50. You need to beat 50 scorpions with Johnny Cage. 50. It's just never gonna happen naturally. So, and the only way, the only way you can do it is by doing this in battle mode. You just find a battle with Scorpion in the first position. I made a whole video about it. And you just knock him out, exit the battle. Knock him out, exit the battle. That's how you complete the... Like, they had to know that this was be the only way to complete this task. And they still went for it. It's mind-numbingly stupid task. And I can't even tell you how much I hate it. Okay, let's take a look at other tasks that we have here. Some of them are fine. I like the tasks when a uh, knockout, like a uh, certain amount of certain class or certain character. Those are fine because if you're doing towers, if you're doing survival, you're going to complete it sooner or later because you're going to be facing all kinds of enemies. Again, win 10 matches with a certain character in your team, I'm also fine with. Uh, tower battle, in like they, they forcing you to, be to, to play tower mode so much in every single tower is ab it's absolutely disgusting this is week three let's take a look at week two there is one thing in here that gets my blood boiling and you thought 50 scorpions and johnny cages was bad well let me tell you there's one thing in here that i will i absolutely refuse to do use a potion in quest mode 20 times as you know, potions cost souls. So basically, this task is waste 200 souls. This is what the task is about. So the free battle pass gives you around, I think we counted, it was like 300 souls for the whole battle pass. I might be wrong. The point is, you are going to be spending most of the souls that you get from the battle pass, from a free one, just on completing this task. It's stupid. Why? Why is there a task requiring us to waste souls. I don't understand. And look at the premium tasks. The best thing about the premium tasks, all of them are actually good. 
all of the premium, like, look how many premium tasks I completed just by playing the game. But how little of the free tasks I completed by just playing the game. There's a few, also, a few challenges in here that are absolutely disgusting. For example, you need to beat two normal challenges and three hard challenges. Now, the disgusting part in this is that we only have three weeks in a battle pass. And... That basically means you cannot miss a single challenge. So you have to beat every single challenge, at least to the hard difficulty. On my main account, I just don't play challenges anymore. I have all the gold cards maxed out. And yeah, it gives you a couple of souls, but it's just for me, it's just not worth the time investment. And I just... Like... And also, you, you cannot miss one. If you miss one challenge, the whole task goes... Like, you, you cannot complete it. Same thing with Shao Kahn Tower Battles. 80 matches in Shao Kahn Tower. 80 matches. We have three free matches per day. The whole thing is freaking how, how many days? This is week two. So we only have two weeks to do 80 matches. Divide. 80 by 14. We are getting... Let's say six. It's a little bit less than six. But basically, that means that every day you have to spend 50 souls on refresh of Shao Kahn Tower to freaking get to complete this the, 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 this point. You're, it's cheaper to just pay 400 souls to complete it than to pay 50 souls for two weeks every single day just so you can complete, complete this point. It's so moronic and stupid and... And dumb like if you beat it once most of the people will probably not even play it or if they do play it they will not use souls on refreshes this is the dumbest thing ever use a health potion in survival mode 15 times okay I do use health potion sometimes but it basically requires me uh, to either watch videos to get those potions or to spend blood rubies which maybe I, i'm collecting blood rubies for something else why are you forcing me to use health potions imagine i'm legend us and i'm absolute god in this game and i just don't get hit i just don't take damage how am i supposed to use <laughs> okay this one this one is not that bad but but still like i it, it's it's a lot of potions i don't use you basically need to be using one health potions every day. I, I just don't play that much survival. I play enough to get myself a chance for diamond card and that's it. Open 12 daily gift packs. There is only 14 days since this trial was introduced. So you can you have to open 12 out of 14. You have to remember to open 12 daily gift packs. You miss three. You miss three packs. And that's it. This whole tax task is impossible to complete. I'm blown away by the stupidity and sheer inconvenience of these tasks. And like I, I could go through a lot of this. Let me let me check that let me check the premium on the last week. I haven't seen it yet. I, I, I couldn't care less. Let me check. Again, could cannot cannot scroll on my iPhone. Fantastic, amazing UI design. Oh god. Okay, what are the premium tasks? Oh, there is no Oh, no, wait, yeah, there are 60 levels. Right? There are 60 levels, there are 60 tasks. Okay, okay, I, I, my math got a little bit messed up. But look at this. We have 60 tasks in the trials, and we have 60 levels in a battle pass. What does that mean? You miss one. You miss one task. And your whole battle pass is wasted. I have not seen ever in any game I played that there was like exact amount of tasks for every single like usually you can go overboard with points usually battle passes have like in the end of the battle pass after you claim all the levels so it's like a repeatable reward because it's possible to get more points than needed to get all the rewards and then like you can get extra levels and you can repeat the final, like, repeatable reward multiple times. In this battle pass? 60 tasks, 600 points, I mean, 6,000 points, 60 levels. Do not, you do not get a chance to mess up. And 
most some of these tasks skipping one day of playing the game one day or two days will make it impossible to complete so you will have in the end if it's like the day the last day of combat pass and you're like i cannot complete this task but i want to get the, the all the rewards so you have to start paying souls 400 freaking souls for one level 400 souls is a 4% chance to get him Caleb and Scorpion, which in my opinion is more worth it than, than this entire battle pass. Now, all of this, all of this would be okay. K kinda, kinda okay. If all of this insane grind was, you would get some, some incredible reward in the end. Let's say battle 60, level 60 reward would be like uh mk11 scorpion or classic Liu king let's take a look at level 60 reward it's an icon it's an icon that looks pretty much exactly the same as the free one that you get from level 40 just with a little bit of a glow on the edge it's the same icon with a little bit of glow on the edge. And it's not even that good. There are so many better icons that you can get for free for playing the game. This is your top reward. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. This is disgusting. And the main feature of the battle pass was the gold card's ascension and it's not even good it's not even good it's not gonna make any difference nothing in here nothing in this list is worth the grind that the tasks allow you i will not like i regret so much right now paying ten dollars for the premium pass on my main account but i will probably finish it since i pay ten dollars but i will never again next season ever again will purchase combat pass in mk mobile and i will never even like try to grind the tasks i will claim the rewards that i get from just playing the game if i complete some tasks naturally i'll i'll grab the rewards but i will not knock out 50 scorpions with Johnny Cage with a freaking insanely stupid tasks like that or something that requires me to do something every day without skipping. I played many, many, many games with battle passes before. And this one is by far the most disgusting, unfair, boring my nominally stupid and worthless battle pass I've ever seen in my entire life. Ever. This has been this has been a long time coming. I, I open this every day and I, I'm just it's just blowing my mind how stupid it is. What do you want, kitty? Are you are you are you are you are you angry too? And if you take into account that this battle pass came in the update with probably the highest amount of bugs. Some of them are game-breaking that not allowing you to beat the towers whatsoever. Like, it, it's just wasting your tries crashing the tower that is not your fault. And it's been weeks and there is no patch, not even an acknowledgement. Plus, this was not just any update. That was... 30 year anniversary update. <sighs> it's a disaster. It's a complete freaking disaster. I'm I'm going to be honest, I'm I'm looking forward to the new Mortal Kombat game coming in 2023. Mortal Kombat's uh forgot the name. Mortal Kombat Onslaught. I'm waiting for that because that's clearly where all the resources all the work hours are being spent on not in this game this game it feels like they just they just spend like a couple days like an afterthought on this 
anniversary update. It's, it's, especially this battle pass. God freaking damn it. I hope... I hope that they're spending all their hours, all their workforce on this new game and it's gonna be freaking glorious because if they're gonna keep putting out updates like that in MK Mobile, they will not have any people left playing it by the time this game comes out. So they need to kill it with a new game. Otherwise, they're nobody gonna be playing any of their games. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. This is just... This whole update is is just been grinding my nerves little by little and now like I've seen some of this battle pass things and I'm like okay this sucks this sucks but then I I sat down right now and I just compiled all of the things all of the tasks in the battle pass and it made me realize like I I I haven't I haven't even realized how bad it was until I started recording this video I knew it was bad but after reading all of this and like in my head compiling all of the information we have about this battle pass i'm like who who the hell thought it was a good idea and an even better question why the hell did i spend ten dollars on it i don't care about anything in here i guess it was just to show you that it was instant regret and you shouldn't do it and unless they improve rewards in the future battle pass there has to be at least one diamond card in my opinion, in free-to-play tier, one random diamond card. And then in P tier, there has to be one specific diamond card. And it has to be one of the new diamond cards, or at least one of the good diamond cards. Like classic Liu Kang, uh, new MK11 cards, maybe even Lizard Baraka or whatever. My phone just died. That was 5% left. Unless they add diamond cards and tower gear maybe a rare piece for the free one and epic piece for the paid one then maybe i will start grinding the battle pass but for now there is just no point oh my phone is still alive well that's surprising anyway guys my rant is over i'm <laughs> it went it went much deeper than I thought it was going to... I thought I was going to give you some tips and tricks, but I ended up just pretty much pooping on this whole thing, which it deserves. That's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about the Combat Pass and Mortal Kombat Mobile, and how do you think they could improve it? Again, it we know it doesn't work. We know they don't watch these videos. They don't care what people have to say, but maybe. Who knows? I'll, I'll keep trying until this game is dead. I'll keep trying to make it freaking great. If you listen to me, MK Mobile, maybe there will be a chance. But if you don't listen to your community, then it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Thank you for watching. Thank you, members of the Patreons, for support. I love you all guys. And my phone is dead. And this video is over.